Only a few years ago, press releases were a fantastic way to build links to your dental website, whether or not media outlets picked them up. Just by being on the web and distributing to microsites, you could get valuable inbound links back to your website. Sometime after, Google got wise to that tactic and they cut out press releases entirely from giving SEO value to websites. Now, when we come back, I'll tell you how Google has come off that position and why. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Saturday edition of the Patient Attraction Podcast. Now, I told you earlier this year, when we started the weekend edition, Saturdays and Sundays are going to generally focus on some pretty specific marketing tips and ideas. Today and tomorrow, I want to talk about press releases. In years gone by, you would send a media outlet a quick blurb of information in hopes that they would write a story about you. And when they did, of course, it was free publicity. Then this thing that Al Gore invented called the internet came along. Dentists and other businesses found they could release information along multiple channels and create their own stories, as well as giving media outlets an opportunity to do them. Savvy dentists and marketers started using press releases to stuff keywords and trick the Google algorithm into giving them more authority than they truly deserved. And we played that game with great success. Google then changed its formula and stripped press releases of their value. Now, this hurt marketers and business people who were using press releases to gain SEO value, but it also hurt people who were using those press releases to research topics of interest, which is really at the very heart of Google's mission. Last fall, Google tweaked its algorithm how its Google News ranks press releases and corporate statements, giving them back some of the weight they lost. Now, this is great news for marketers and dentists. It means you can reach your audience directly again. It means you can also boost your SEO value. And of course, you can reach more media outlets who may be interested in writing about the topics of your releases. This is the home run that gets you free publicity and boosts your SEO value. Even though a new site doesn't link to you, Google uses what are called implied links to boost your site's value when a reputable site is talking about you. There are numerous reputable companies that can distribute press releases for you. Do your homework, compare cost, and then regularly use the service. If you've got any additional questions, email me directly, Colin at smartboxwebmarketing.com. Come back tomorrow. I'll tell you how to get media outlets interested in your press releases. Until then, keep moving forward. Whoa.